and this is my last long run right before London Marathon and my amazing friend Amanda <laughs> has come out on the bike to be water person and to help me get this, this run done so if you haven't got friends like, like Amanda find them because they're really important <laughs> I'll catch you on the run right so I was just in a mile I thought I'd just quickly tell you about this race vest that I'm going to be wearing for the day this last long run I've made sure I'm wearing the outfit I'm going to wear on the day as much as possible. Shoes, socks, knickers, bra, top. I'm ready for born free. And my Harrier vest, which is this one. Absolutely brilliant. I would really advise this, especially a slightly bigger runner and have a chest. It really hugs it really nicely here. And these are adjustable. Um, there's tons of pockets here. Here, there's a zip one here. Um, this one's got my phone in, uh, well, when, I, when I'm not using it to vlog. Um, I've got my water here, got all my gels up there. Water's on one of these, which you can also buy from Harrier. And I've got collapsible uh, water bottle here. Um, much more comfy than the hard water bottles. And it has a really big aperture at the top. So if you want to refill it really easy or pour sashes into it, I'm using Tailwinds today my energy supply and electrolytes so I'll catch you um, when I get ready. Sometimes I run on roads sometimes good to get a little bit of practice on the off beaten track I know what you mean about safety don't worry I've got my friend with me stay on the bike I think it's just about getting different terrains you know your ankles have to be a bit more stable this so you're building muscles helping your ankles out whenever you do trail runs so slightly uphill too adding a little bit of hills in really does help as well so on a race just like the great north i've just finished and you presented with note to self if you are vlogging and it is a trail don't don't do it because just fallen look and I've just cut, just cut my arm. The leggings, absolutely fine. They're just a bit, they're just a bit muddy. So these leggings are pretty Teflon proof, but my arm clearly isn't. So anyway, um, don't vlog when you're on a trail run. Note to self. Okay, see you soon. Right, I've just recovered. I've just done, um, Almost seven miles now. We're sent in a beautiful area of Hobham. Friends on a bike, keeping me in the right direction. She's planned this route. What did you plan the route on, Amanda? What was the app? Plotarute.com. So if you kind of are in an area, I used it actually when I was in, in York uh, campsite. So if you are in an area and you just want to plot a route around and you've got a certain distance you want to do or you've got a certain place you want to get to, um, it's really useful. Um, but I'll catch you when I've done a bit more. Bye. Right, so the great thing is now, I've got to almost 10 miles. So now it's a countdown game. So it should have been from nine miles really, because I'm doing 18 miles. So it's a bit of a countdown now. So in a big race, always try and think about the halfway point. And then from there on, you count the miles down and that always somehow psychologically just feels a little bit easier. So, almost on 10, so I've got eight to go. So this is a hard bit now. I've got to just over 13 miles now in, and I'm getting a bit tired. I've had a couple of gels. I've had a bit of a drink. Um, and the thing is, it's starting to dawn now, that if this is the London Marathon, I'm gonna have to do this. The whole thing I've just run, again, I'm not sure I can do that, but for today, I've only got to run another four and a half miles. I've just got to run another four and a half miles, my friend says. So that's what I'm going to try and do, catch a bit. Also, I just wanted to point out, I'm wearing a bath on my head. Um, just to soak up some sweat, it's been hotter today than I thought it was going to be. And after a while, sweat starts to sting skin so I've put the hook band 
so H-Y-G-D-E. I think they normally sell like, on their website they sell five, buy one get three free or something like that, ridiculous. So, uh, really versatile to use. I often keep on my wrist just to wipe this wear and nose dribbles and stuff. But today it's hot, so it's just soaking up a little bit off my forehead. Right, almost 15 miles in now, so I keep going. Okay, so I'm home now. Um, I, after I fell, um, I did, my knee just felt like a tiny little bit sore. I've run on it for about just over 10 miles and at that point I just decided there's no point in trying to run on, on that. I just wanted, just in case I tweaked it, I just thought, I've done it almost 16 miles, I thought I'd just call it there. And um, luckily enough, I'd run reasonably close to home. So I've got my hobby to take me out, <laughs> bless me. It's always great to have a bit of support. <laughs> So he's picked me up um, and I've made myself um, a plant-based PhD chocolate cookie um, protein shake. Just one scoop is like 49 calories and it contains 20 grams of protein. And straight after any form of exercise or run, it's, it's so beneficial to try and pump that um, protein back in your body, even if you don't feel like it, because it's just going to help your muscles to just mend themselves and, and develop that process of healing um, after exercise. So I'm gonna um, have my protein shake and get in the shower because I'm thinking <laughs> it's the reality of what people look like when they finish a run. Like so many people just look pristine. Um, I'm definitely not one of those and um, it's just as long as I've got a smell of vision. <laughs> um, do, I, I would just say though, if you, if you are like me, and you, you do sweat a lot and when you are out there running and you know what, wear that with shine, that sparkle shine and with pride, it's okay, but just make sure um, that you make sure that you do get a little bit of salt. You're gonna need to make sure you're, you know, you're keeping those potassium levels up, magnesium levels up, you know, so just make sure you've got an electrolyte drink that's got that in. So when you are running, you know, you're not just drinking pure water, so you're gonna get into a bit of difficulty if you're just drinking pure water. It's just gonna dilute your electrolytes and you, you'll be all over the shop. Um, but anyway, another, another video on what I take out for a long run, but for now, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you have a recovery time for London. I've got two weeks. Um, take care and I'll see you soon.